Hey, Tyler, Theater Design Company. So as you can see by the uh, title of this one, this is going to be our uh, overview and introduction of our new theater build. So this one should be uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 episodes, possibly more. Uh, we're going to break it down into some other stuff, such as the cinema door and a few things like that. But what I want to do in this one, it'll be long-winded, uh, so I'll have the chapter set up if you want to skip ahead. Uh, I'm going to go over the new floor plan. I'm going to go over the lighting plan. I'll go over the... Uh, construction here on the uh, dig out of this the excavation portion of it uh, go over all the new equipment we're going to put in and then i'll go over the rendering um, details and textures and all that uh, pretty well in depth on this it'll this will be a long video so use the chapters if you want to skip forward and not hear me talk so uh, overall what i'm going to do here is uh, just kind of walk through with the mouse on the floor plan so we've had a, a floor plan created for this to scale uh, with a few minor changes and uh, we've got some really neat technology in here, so I think this is going to be a fun one to subscribe to and and check out because we've got movie digital movie posters and video walls, some uh, really cool lighting stuff going in, some light fixtures. And so, going to start here with the bar. So, no changes to the bar other than the entryway here. And uh, so, right here on the mouse, you can see this the steps coming down from our upper level. This is all underground here. So we are not making any changes to the bar, but as you turn right into here, you'll note, uh, I'll pop up a picture here. This is the existing entryway here with the stone curved uh, wall into the wine cellar. This door is going away. Right here in this area, this is going to be a new wine fridge, popcorn machine, uh, concrete countertop. We'll do our candy station here, some LED backlighting, and then a cabinet to store you know, candy and uh, popcorn cups and all that. So let's make this a nice little... Uh, extension to the bar and the lobby area here uh, adding an arch here adding an arch here out of stone and then as you walk through this is uh this is actually wrong this is going to be a curved stone wall this goes away and then we're going to have a window that actually looks into the wine cellar new cove ceiling with cove lights and then a really cool chandelier that we have picked out and then as you were to look to the right we're going to have a digital movie uh, poster uh, here that's gonna be from digital movie boards which is one of our new accounts that will be uh, supplying product to customers with and then we have our new lighted cinema sign which we already have got a video on uh, so this will be a cinema door excuse me that's uh, got a power transfer hinge uh, we'll build that one for scratch and we're gonna do a video series just on that door because it's pretty neat right here another digital movie poster and then kind of the highlight of this room is from this point here to here, this is going to be a triple video wall, so Samsung commercial displays. And we're going to do something a little different here. We're going to box these in. I know I've seen some videos on these, but we're going to box these in and make them look 100% like windows, including Lutron motorized shades on each one. That way we can uh, motorize those shades down and just focus on the cinema aspect of the lobby of it. Or if we're having a party, you know, we turn all the lights on, set it in party mode, have the wine cellar lights on, and then open these up to like a New York skyline or Something along those lines. Um, a couple of the uh, pieces of equipment that are existing in here. This is the cinema system is currently in this area. That's going away. It's still for sale. The step here, we're going to cover those steps up on the left and right of our current demo room. And we'll step up into the theater again. Uh, I'm going to walk right through the theater. And I'll talk about the excavation next. But we're shifting this wall over four feet. And then the equipment room stays. No changes there. This door moves a little bit. Hallway stays. It's going to shorten down. This is kind of was our small little two channel room. This is going to be a hallway now. Nothing too special there. It'll have our, our die cast cars still. And then these will be automobilia posters to kind of keep with the automotive theme. Into the office, no changes in the office at all. And then so back in the theater, putting our projector box here now in the back wall, keeping the existing cove to an extent. We'll obviously frame this out and soften a little bit. And then I'll go over the lighting. We'll go over what we're doing with the star ceiling. And then here from this point and this point, we're going to excavate down. So we're, we're assuming we're going to excavate down about 36 inches, three feet. And this will drop us down into this area. And the new dimensions on this is about a 10 foot excavation and about 14, six wide. So pure blocked walls, new column here, steel beam, new column here, steel beam. The existing column is here. We'll reinforce it with steel beam. Same thing here, existing column here. We'll reinforce that steel beam and then a new steel beam or, or header across here. And you'll see some of that on the rendering. Uh, 
stairs and lower area and part of this will all be carpet from joy carpet and we will have a tile walkway through here still um, some of you guys know that there's a workshop in here my office here i don't want to track dirt through here every single time i'm doing something so what i'm going to do is jump through on some of the elevations and give you an overview on those next okay so i'm gonna jump into the elevations here on this and then we'll do the lighting plan next uh, again, check the chapters if you want to skip forward or do something else here. But as you can see, is these are some uh, basically some sectioned out views of the uh, current room. So if we were to uh, keep our mouse over here, let me get down to where we're at here. You can see part of our wine fridge here. We'd be walking up through the door here into the cinema room. Back wall, you can see our projector portal there. You can see the steps dropping down into our excavation. And then again, the hallway here. So, and then looking at it from the other view here, if we were standing, uh, actually if we're standing here in the lobby, we'd be looking at, this will be our video wall. That's obviously now a three uh, monitor here. We uh, opted to get rid of one of our little walls here to get a bigger display here. And since we originally had a video wall here in the hallway, we're not using any additional cost. We're just shifting this over this will be a triple. And then as you can see here, you got the large format Seymour screen. So this will be a Seymour screen excellence. It's going to be 150 inch wide. Uh, I think that translates to 163 inch diagonal and 237 aspect. Uh, projector on here. I'll go over the details of all the equipment at the very end. And then let's jump here. So here you can see sign up some side profiles. So again, here's the cinema door walking into the lobby. There's our steps down. So you can see here we've got our new metal beam here. Got some existing HVAC. And our excavation, as you can see, actually starts back into the original room. Uh, so again, 10 feet here, about 30 inches down because you got a six inch slab. And then our existing stays uh, right here where my mouse is at will be the tile walkway adjoining the two rooms, uh, basically lobby to hallway. And then you can see here, this is uh, if you were to walk through this door, this is uh, the new window into the wine cellar, video wall here on the right side wall, curved stone wall exit out into the bar and then here's a view if you're standing here you can kind of look out here you can see our, our wine fridge cabinet set all the stone the arches well popcorn machine here where I'm running the mouse and then last some additional details you see our movie poster wall here you see our uh, wine cellar and again if we're standing in the bar this kind of looking through wine cellar digital movie poster and then since we use this as our rendering just a breakdown of the step and our two digital movie posters. So that's going to kind of go over our uh, elevation views. Just kind of skip through those real quick. And next I'll go over the lighting plan, which is pretty in-depth. Okay, so going over the lighting plan, as you can see, we've got uh, basically the same exact floor plan, no changes here. And uh, what we do have changes in the bar is uh, relatively minimal. Right now we have some Epic Sky uh, one-inch low voltage lights. Going to change those out to some uh, Spectrum four-inch color changing cans. Uh, mainly to help wall wash this stone wall that's existing. And then same thing with the wine cellar curved stone wall. I'm going to change these out to some spectrum cans. Again, to do the color temperature. They have a little bit better color temperature. We can adjust and get the stone color correct. And then as we walk through our floor plan here, we have uh, an arch here. And we're going to backlight that arch. That's going to give us some light for our park, a popcorn machine, candy station, you know, a little bit of light on the counter to see what you're doing, more of a task light. We will have that color changing, but my guess is that's going to be set at like 2700 Kelvin, just kind of a warm white color. And then continuing into the lobby, this cove will have our typical cove lighting, uh, the cove lighting detail that we use. Uh, big, huge chandelier here, kind of a firework style chandelier, real low profile, but long, uh, more of a piece of art than it is a light. And then changing this a little bit, this will go over here and two down lights, uh, one above each chair and possibly a spotlight added for a table in between the chairs. Uh, no change in lighting the wine cellar. That's all pretty dialed. It's got uh, cob lighting on all the racks, and it's got two small little uh, lights shining down on a table and so on. So no changes there. And then walking through the theater, we'll, have, uh, we'll add some step lights to these. And then I'm going to have this rendered, but we're going to have tile coming straight through here. So really no changes on any of this lighting in here for the existing room. The can lights that are current will go away. Uh, cove lighting, cove lighting here, step lights. 
Uh, we're going to do three four inch lights up here to shine on the screen. I always, I always like that look just to kind of walk in. You got the screen lit up and then uh, we'll break down this in zones as well. Uh, real basic star ceiling here with two kits from Epic Sky. And we, we always use Epic Sky star kits. We're not changing anything there, just changing some of the light fixtures. And then this one's going to be pretty in, involved. This is actually going to be a single star kit, but with four or five of the firework star kits. So we kind of do a little firework show here because um, this is going to be a real dark area with velvet walls, real black in down here. A lot, lot darker down here for the video display portion of it than up here. And then walking through, uh, we already have four inch cans here on all these. So we're just going to relocate these. Uh, more of a hallway path light lights on our uh, oh on our model car displays which aren't changing no changes in the office uh, no changes in the equipment room so that kind of gives you an overview of the lighting um, kind of going over the zones of the lighting this will be Lutron raw 3 as far as your configuration and uh, to give you an idea of what we have in here I'll just kind of start at the beginning but as you walk down into the bar you have a Lutron keypad and that currently controls overhead cans these art cans, a lighted garage sign, two pendants here, back bar lighting, color changing bar lighting. And then as you walk through over to here out into the garage area, which I am gonna do a tour on, we've got another Lutron keypad that does our show car lights and then all our digital lights on our signs. Um, back here in the garage is all the power supplies. This whole room here has a dedicated panel for all the uh, circuits here for the equipment room and all the lighting. And then as we come in here, kind of undecided on location, but we'll have another keypad. And that keypad is going to do wine cellar lights here, all the zones of lighting in here. It's going to do the lobby lighting. And then at the theater entrance, we'll do a final keypad. And that's going to do all our zones of lighting in here. So cove, star ceiling, step lights, down lights, star ceiling, uh, button press for the fireworks show. That'll be off the keypad here. And then right here, we'll do a two gang keypad, uh, just some Picos. So one just kind of an on and off as a path through almost like a three way. And then another one to turn these zones on. Uh, so pretty in depth lighting, uh, shifting from raw two to raw three Lutron. Uh, thought about doing homeworks, just doesn't make sense. We'll stick with the Lutron. All of the color changing aspects of the theater will be done by the remote control using RTI still. All the aspects here of the hallway, um, bar, uh, wine cellar, lobby, all that, those will all be turned on and off by Lutron and all the color changing aspects will be done by the American Lighting Spectrum or, or Trilux Lighting uh, app, one of the two apps. I'm unsure exactly what we're going to do there. So that gives you a whole overview on the lighting. And next I'm going to go through each uh, rendering on it. I think this will be the fun part. So kind of the final chapter of this video is going to be going over the renderings. All right, so let's jump into the super fun stuff here. Um, so this is kind of the, the layout of the rendering. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you the views, probably the best way to do this. So floor plan view here. So the view pointing here in our bar and if you're standing there, it's gonna look something like this. So existing stairs going into the wine cellar, curved wall. Uh, I've got a bunch of views, but I've kind of zoomed in on this. You got arch above here, arch here, and arch here. So there's three arches all intersecting. Wine fridge, gonna have our new cabinet system to store stuff. Uh, concrete countertop, not granite like this shows. And then popcorn machine. And then as you kind of look through here, you're gonna see the lighted cinema door, the two movie posters, a little bit of lighting. So if you were standing in the bar, that's a pretty epic view coming through. And now if I was standing kind of like right here, uh, underneath the arch I'd be looking at something kind of like this so this is a really cool shot a couple leather chairs obviously our video wall lighted movie posters lighted uh, excuse me glass going into the wine cellar so this would be a glass it's a temperature controlled wine cellar already so we're gonna do glass looking into it a little bit of the scalings off here this is probably gonna be taller this might be a little higher as well uh, Cove is gonna be new Chandelier is going to be different, but you can see a chandelier here on the rendering. And then as I noted earlier on this, when I was talking, we're going to do some Lutron blackout shades here. They'll drop down and be black shades between this millwork. And this is going to look like a window. And so with these shades down, it'll kind of, won't feel like you're in a cave down here because this is underground. And it's a little sensory overload right now anyway, if you look in here. I mean, you got wine cellar lights, lights on the chairs, video wall, lighted movie posters. You're going to have stair lights here, cove lights. 
it's a lot going on. So it'll be kind of cool to be able to have these drop down and make a little more uh, comfortable. Um, and then if we're having like a party, this could show a skyline of New York or Italy or something like that. And we keep the movie posters off. So we have a kind of a functionality on how we're going to use it. And last, if in the lobby portion, if I was standing here, we'd have a view similar to this looking out. So again, lighted posters. Here you can see a real good aspect of the cove here that holds the wine fridge, popcorn machine. Uh, not quite to scale. It's, it's hard to do the renderings 100% to scale when you get into the devices. The room itself is to scale. That's how the arches land. Uh, this isn't going to be drywall. It'll be a Modena stone. This inside will not be a stone. It's going to be a um, either drywall or maybe a brick set and we're probably going to put on the inside here you can't see it but uh, some sort of uh, access panel to get back in there because there is a, a, a cubby hole back in there so to service wiring or maybe get into the projector this is going to be the best method and then if I were to walk through the cinema door so I'll, I'll jump into the plans here and uh, so if I was standing right here on the plans coming through I'm going to have a view similar to this so you can see we've got we're gonna have some row one uh, Calvary seats here uh, row of three here we'll have two steps down into there two steps down on this side you can see we have some uh, lighted columns they're gonna be backlit on the columns as well as some sconce lights didn't want to go too modern in this room so I think the sconce lights will help keep it a little bit of uh, the age it's a very very old home we're in 1888 and then kind of representing here is where our excavation will start and so you can kind of see the uh, the beam feature of the cove and, and so on coming through there. And then jumping back into the plan, if I was standing here in my lower area looking up, this is kind of a, an epic shot again, kind of really gives you an idea of how big the room is going to be now compared to what it was. Uh, so your multiple steps up, our uh, theater chairs here, um, our back row theater chairs, our columns at backlight, you can see our coves. Um, I didn't have them show the uh, fireworks uh, or the star ceiling in here. It's not really needed. I obviously know how that's going to look. And then the back wall here, I have just a Vicoustics uh, kind of a city line diffuser type system going in. Uh, this might be from Stealth Acoustics. Uh, not sure of the brand yet. And we may end up painting this the Baltic color on this. So it's kind of unknown. And then jumping out of that and in through so if we were going to go and restart that if we were to walk straight through this is probably going to have a tile walkway and then through another door and then once we go through that door you can see that uh, you'd be right here is the door this would look into our existing equipment room this door here which will not be this fancy but this goes out into our shop and then if we were standing here here's the door into the theater here's our model car cases uh, we didn't have them render the 30 or 40 different cars that would have took a lot of money for one and just not needed and then this was going to be a digital movie poster now it'll just be some artwork uh, i've got a couple pretty cool car posters i've collected over the years so probably a car poster car poster car poster and again this walks from our shop into our office which is back over here and so we'll see here a couple other things to note on this as i kind of wrap up this uh Oh, kind of this overview because it's kind of long-winded um, I'll go over some of the colors things we're gonna be doing here so here's what we do on most of our jobs is a, a color scheme so here's our Eldorado stone our travertine our joy carpets uh, theater screen wall which is gonna be from uh, Seymour AV this will be their uh, velvet we buy that in uh, rolls uh, base trim door it's actually gonna be poplar but with a walnut stain so if you've priced wood uh, poplar is about a third the price and uh, it comes pretty true and straight and then we're going to do this uh, indigo Baltic color that we used on our last demo room. Uh, not, excuse me, the last uh, theater job we did. Uh, the existing ceiling in some of our other rooms are the cement gray color. We're going to keep that. Uh, theater ceiling is going to be the kind of the go-to industry tricorn black from Sherwin-Williams. And then theater coves will be our onyx color. Uh, so that kind of gives you a, a real good overview of all the stuff there. And then let me see what else I have for shots here. Um, kind of wrap this up I will go over what we're gonna do on the theater room so this is a uh, one view of it for the front wall here's kind of the final front view of the wall um, so you kind of might be wondering what's going on here so Focal Utopia in walls Focal Utopia sub package same left and right two McIntosh monoblocks 
These will go with power and XLR uh, feeds and speaker leads behind the amps into the base. And that's gonna be to power our left and right two channel only setup. The sub amps uh, are gonna be back in the rack for the two focal low frequency. And that will be our two channel setup. So only two channel. And then the surround sound system in this room is gonna be the Kef Meta. Uh, so 5160s with the Meta technology, uh, left, center, right. And then a sub module underneath each one of those. So left, center, right subs. Those will be using their uh, CASA 500 amps, which tune these things down to 20 hertz. And then not shown on the rest of the room, but you'll have sides over here, which will be 3160s. Uh, and actually, let me jump back over the floor plan. So KEF LCRs, left, center, right. KEF sides, 3160s, 3160. Second set of sides here, KEF 3160s, 3160s. And then rear surround, be KEF 3160s. We fully aware that the back row is a little too close to these surrounds, but it's super ideal for these. And then as far as Atmos goes, we'll do two Atmos speakers here, left and right front height Atmos, left and right rear Atmos. You won't see those. Um, they'll be behind the fabric panels and the star ceiling. And then of course our two channel setup. So you'll have something like this with the grills off and something like this, the screen and everything was off fabric wise and then more of a finished product on it. So as you can tell, pretty high-end gear going in. Uh, processor on this is gonna be Storm Audio. Uh, amplifiers, we're either gonna do Macintosh, uh, the MI series, which are their digital amps, uh, to go with the Macintosh theme of the monoblocks. Um, we may also just do Storm amps, or we may also just keep our audio control, so that's kind of unknown. Um, jumping into, let's see here, screen. So a screen here is gonna be a Seymour Screen Excellence. Uh, masking, probably not, because this is truly just gonna be a movie room. Uh, we may do a side masking panel on each one, that's unknown. Projector will be a Barco Braga projector. Uh, sources will be the Kaleidoscape, uh, maybe the new eight terabyte. We may actually sell the current Kaleidoscape to get the eight terabyte, or at least do the hard drive system on it. And then uh, digital movie posters that are uh, on the sidewall here. Let's see here. Digital movie posters. Uh, we'll use Samsung 43 inch displays. We'll use the digital movie boards uh, controller for this one. Second digital movie board so we can have separate posters. These tie directly in the Kaleidoscape. So this first one will tie into it. So say we're going to watch Avatar. This will have the Avatar movie poster and we'll have Avatar on the screen already prepped and ready to go. And then jumping back to some of the other technology on this view here, this movie poster is now going to here. So this will be a Samsung triple video wall. Uh, that is actually just done off a three by, uh, excuse me, a one by three HDMI splitter. We'll run video balance to these because we're not going 4K. And those will run off either an Apple TV, uh, possibly a bright sign to run our information there. And this will all be controlled by RTI. And then again, lighting, Lutron uh, Radio Raw 3. Uh, and then the last thing I did not go over is low frequency. So we are thinking of a couple things here. One, we're, we're already gonna be excavating, so it would not be that hard to excavate into this sidewall here and this sidewall here for uh, larger subs. Uh, another option here on this room is we talked about doing a full wisdom system and wisdom makes some uh, relatively rectangle thinner subs. And so we thought about doing that. They're more of like a folded horn type design, a ton of output. And then bear in mind, at this point here on the upper, we have crawl space and crawl space. So we could put monster subs here, monster subs here. And then if I were to jump to the back of the room, we have, again, we'll have a little bit of crawl space area here across to here. So we could put subs back in here. Um, and again, the 3160s will be in this column here with the sub module below it. And then the sides will not have, the rear sides will not have the 3160 sub modules, but the backs will. So realistically on the front wall, you're gonna have three 3160 subs, 5160 mains. On the kefs, you'll have 3160 highs and their sub modules below. On the back, you'll have sub modules. So right off the bat, you have seven of the KEF module speakers, uh, sub-modules. You'll have 
nine of the KEF 3160 and 5160 speakers. KEF THX speakers in the ceiling to match kind of the output we're going for the room. And then again, two front subs, uh, you know, big folded horns, maybe Klipsch ported subs, kind of unknown on that, but at least two big monster front subs and at least two big monster rear subs. And so that will kind of conclude what we got going on here in the rendering. Uh, yes, long-winded, but it really gives you an overview of what we're going to do. And now we can start kind of our build process of this. And uh, you can see our demo. Uh, we'll do time lapse on it, full builds of this whole room. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for your patience. And uh, please subscribe. It's going to be a pretty cool build out. Uh, not a whole lot of these on YouTube where you're doing really high-end build outs. They're usually just building them and walking away. So it should be fun. Thanks a lot.